guys, it's me, Joey once again is here, back in the land of the survival. As we uh, as we take a look around, it's been it's been a few years since my last uh, proper expedition. Been uh, been in some intense training for the last two years, two or three years. It's now uh, it, the year is now 2018, and uh, after my embarrassing failure, uh, and, and, and losing losing some footage, some very important footage, and dying in a very embarrassing way, the last time we. Uh, the last time we played through, uh, through the lands of the Ultra Hardcore, when I'm now back after intensive training. My code name has now been updated, it is no longer the Sonic Jury, we are now Survivalist Jury, which means that I have trained well enough to be upgraded in rank, so we are now we are now prepared for our new our new adventure in the greyed out terrain of the Divine Comedy. We're taking our first step through the layers of hell in this in, in this adventure and we've started off on a very tall mountain far away from the other players that are that are in this world of us. We've all been thrown in here and the goal is to slaughter the other players until we are the last man standing. So as always as uh, you may remember from the last time we 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 stepped foot into one of these games. The uh, the nerves were high, the anxiety was high, but overall our our motives our, our motives have never changed. We are here to kill meat. Yes, get some meat. I mean, we're here to to win. We're here to be the last person standing and stepping down this this treacherous hill is the first challenge. We must make sure we aren't doing like, any damage and slaughter. Slaughter every pig, every pig we see, and collect their delicious meat. As uh, food is very rare in the in the snowy Arctic, and uh, that's what's and that's what's portrayed in this uh, in this section of the world. Additionally, we're in one of the layers of hell. We can't uh, we can't take it to. Uh, we can't take it too lightly. We must get as prepared as we can, and we must rub, rub as much food as we can from the other players. So let's, uh, well, first let's get some coal. Definitely get some coal. If we can get the coal, we can cook up our delicious meat, and instead of it being cold, it'll be, it'll be boiling hot, just like hell. And we'll feel right at home. We'll feel a bit more cozy, a bit more safe in this treacherous land. So yeah, back to the meat. Oh, so many pigs, so much meat. Gotta get it all. Gotta get as much meat as we possibly can. Gotta keep collecting our coal, and we've gotta make sure to get as much food as we possibly can. So within this, uh, within this terrain, of course, we're in hell. So going underground for resources is still, still a viable option. But of course, in hell, things aren't gonna be easy to come by. They've, uh, they've, they've made it so that the precious diamonds. Gold, steel, all that. Well, she steel, I think, might be okay. I don't remember, but I know that at least diamonds and gold are very rare to find in uh, beneath the Earth's surface. So now we must, so we must tread even further, even further downwards, to try and locate these precious, these precious minerals. Throughout this game. They've also given us, the people at the headquarters have given me a few tasks in which if I can complete said tasks, I can receive emeralds. And uh, those emeralds can th those emeralds can then be used to trade with some wise men at the center of the, at, at, at the center of the hell on earth. We can, we, we can use this to collect diamonds and gold without going underground. So if we are, if we're ever in need of, uh, trying to get ourselves that wizard's table or some some healing to heal ourselves up some some golden fruits we can do that but currently the, my but currently my first task is to cook up this delicious meat and start chopping down some of these uh, these trees to try and get some apples because of course without the without the apples we won't be able to create the uh, the golden fruits that will heal us back up to health 
Because as you all probably know, in Ultra Hardcore, you can't regenerate your health that easily. Any cuts you get are pretty much permanent. Any bruises you get are pretty much permanent. Any blood leaks are pretty much permanent. It's a tough world out here. And uh, the devil isn't going to be too kind to uh, to you in this world. You've got to be... You've got to be as... Uh, you've got to be as... As safe as you can. So the plan is to try and stick towards the uh, the wall of the map. There is a bit of a border to prevent us from going out. Oh, delicious meat. There is a bit of a border to, to prevent us from going out any further. Oh, and an apple. This is good. This is this is this is getting really good here. And uh, to make sure that all the players are in a secluded area so that we can all find each other fairly quickly, as we don't want the game to last for too long, as. Uh, we don't want the uh, the times of hell to be uh, to be getting us killed. So currently we're just going to be chopping down a few trees, and we want to try and get down underneath the ground pretty quickly to try and locate any any form of early any minerals that we can get. As you can see, is as I said, it's a very grey. It's a very grey day today. Everyone is. Everything is very, uh, very dark. The sky is dull. The, all the items are dull. Everything is dull. So we want to try to. We want to try to make as good of a life of this as possible, as difficult as it is. So our meat is done cooking. Delicious, can't wait to munch on some of that later. And now we got ourselves a few apples, four red apples, and it's now time to it's now time to move on and try to locate more things. One big thing that uh, we're all, that we're also going to need in this game is we're also going to need uh we're also going to we're also going to need to have uh, chickens. We're going to need to find some chickens in this corner of hell to try and pluck their feathers and if we can do that we can make a few arrows. One big thing is us getting a bow and arrow to shoot the other players down with as going into sword combat although although deadly can also be extremely extremely bad into our health so we must we must try to stay as as ranged as possible to keep the uh, to keep the other players back and try to limit the amount of damage we take, the amount of cuts and, and arrows we take to the we, we take to the knees as much as possible. Some more hills around here, just uh, just trekking through them, trying to scout out if there's any more meat or any more players or anything that we could take or any more any more chickens that we might uh, that, we, that we might need because it seems to be the only thing that we're currently missing from our adventure. No chance, uh, no sign of other players just yet. Everyone is still. Uh... Oh, here we go. Someone, has, someone has definitely been here. There's even this, this civilization. People have actually decided to make housing inside the circle of hell. I don't know what they're thinking because I don't think the devil is going to be too pleased when they find that there's uh, a whole civilization down here. But, but I guess, uh, I guess, I guess he'll just have to find that out himself. But yes, people have been around here. There was a broken pickaxe on the ground. There was a button which led to nothing on the ground, and now, and now we found this civilization, which seems to be almost abandoned. Maybe there's a few souls here, but currently, it seems abandoned. There is a, uh, there is a, there is a, there is a blacksmith area here though. And normally they hide goodies. No, this one did not hide any goodies. But we will rob their chests as it seems to be an abandoned place. And we'll keep on our search for the chickens. So people have been around here. We just must be, uh, we must be careful and must ensure that we do not uh, stumble across their territory. The goal is to stay by ourselves and end up trying to be the last man standing. One big issue with the uh, with the dull sky is that it will be impossible, almost impossible for us to see when it turns nighttime. So we might not even know it's nighttime until until one of the dangerous creatures of hell blows us up in the face. So we must be very careful. Some dark forests all around here, and with the sun slowly uh, 
the sun probably starting to set in the overworld. I'm assuming the night time probably will be coming shortly. I can sense, uh, I, I can sense the uh, the feeling of the, the the feeling of the area getting cold already. It's uh, it's turning night time slowly but surely. As you should know from the uh, from the last time you saw me, we are uh, we are known for dealing with these creatures fairly well. There are there are some there are some creepers which can blow us up on contact. There are some skeletons which have bows and arrows which can shoot us down, and spiders which can see through walls and climb and climb said walls. So it's time for us to hu huddle into our little base here, and we must dig down, dig down dig down to try and find the precious minerals that we have uh, that we need that, that, that we so set that we so badly need so now we're warm it's safe in here we have torches we have light to keep ourselves warm we have meats we have we have lots of different things we have ourselves our broken pickaxe also and someone and I've been I've just been alerted that someone apparently already has has two stacks of, of arrows as one of the uh, as one of the achievements that you can uh, that the producers have given, but apparently the other people who are in this world with me also have these uh, also have these possible achievements. So it would appear that the producers are, are on everyone else's side other than mine. They appear they appear to have given me a potentially horrendous uh, horrendous starting location and have given others the potential for gain game-changing moves, so I might have to talk, oh, cave, okay, cave, okay, cave, okay. I might have to, uh, I might have to talk to the, to, to the producer later on about, uh, about possibly giving me a, uh, better set to work with, but for now, we must show, we must prove them wrong and show that we are the true survivors. It's a dark cave in here, we still have our torches, so we can warm ourselves up, and that is, that is water, that is some really murky water, that looks awful. That is, that is really murky water. Gonna have to block that off. Try to, uh, try to keep it, try to keep it contained in the cave. Don't want it flooding any of our, any of our light sources down the drain. Oh, I see something. I see, yes, mossy cobblestone. Oh my gosh, it's a, oh my gosh, it's a creature. What is it? It's a zombie. Kill it. Break its nest. It's a nest. It's a nest. And in the chest, the string. String and a bucket to contain the water that we just found. Oh, this is good. This is this is the kind of star we need. This is the kind of star we need to prove to the producers that we still have it. We need to prove to the producers of this show that we that we still have it in us to uh, to be born survivors. So let's pick up that water, contain it in a bucket, drain it, grab some more steel. We've been collecting a bit of it on our, on our way down, but not enough. We need to get a full body suit of armor and we need to get it quickly because soon enough other players will be will be on the hunt to try and find the others and we don't want that so we want to be we want to be on top of everyone we want to be on top of the board we want to make sure that we are the ones doing the slaying not the ones who end up dying in this circle of hell these caves seem to go everywhere we can use the water to traverse down but it's a risky move it's cold water, hasn't warmed up quite yet. So we'll have to we'll have to wait for it to warm up. I'm sure as we as we start moving down towards the uh, towards the lower layers of hell, it, it, it'll start to it'll start to warm up. But hopefully it shouldn't evaporate. That would be that would be terrible. So now it's time to go a little further down, a little further around, try and uh, try and cook up the bits of steel we have to start creating ourselves some armor down to try and find any kind of moves, whilst we attempt to also complete uh, some of the challenges that that the producers have set for me and apparently the rest of the cast. Because if we do those, as, as stated before, we can collect the, the necessary emeralds to, uh, to win the game, to trade with the wise men in the center of hell, and they will give us the, uh, they will give us Diamonds and gold that we so desperately seek if we happen to get unlucky enough to to find any down here. The further we go down, the uh, the warmer it starts to get because obviously lava lava lurks below. We need to make sure we can survive down here for as long as possible. And 
so that we can uh, so that we can survive. I keep getting notified whenever someone creates uh, creates some form of, uh, of item of, of one of the achievements. It's interesting just how many just how many people the producers have given the credit to, and uh, it's just getting uh, it seems to be getting a little bit hectic out there. Everyone's rushing around trying to get their items, and here we are. Hoping, ho ho hoping, that, hoping that we can just locate some form of a cave so that we have somewhere to go. Going to try, uh, going to try digging down once more, trying to locate anything. But uh, currently, currently we can. Uh, but currently, it's, uh, it's it's looking pretty down. It, it's looking pretty pretty down for us. No luck just yet. We have hit a bit of coal, but ow! My pickaxe just blew right on my hand. Ow! You need to banish our blade. Luckily, it didn't do any serious damage, but that will. But we need to create a new one. Hopefully, that will never happen again. Create a pickaxe. Good. Grab ourselves a bit more of the steel. Let's create some protection for for, for our for our chest, so that we don't have to deal with anything like that again. Also create a little a little working hat. There we go, mining hat, mining helmet. That way nothing will fall on our head, or if it does, it will hopefully damage us a little less. So now we have a bit of protection. Oh! I've just been notified. I've just been notified that we have the first death of the of the of the season. Of the of the game. Someone has unfortunately passed away before us. It goes by the name of like, not the, uh, not the childish, uh, not the childish, uh, game, Lego, but, uh, a person, a person who, unfortunately, I've been notified by the producers, has been burnt to a crisp. I've heard the, I, I've heard the thunder, someone has unfortunately, someone, someone has unfortunately gone, the cannon has been shot, as they would say in the Hunger Games. So now, now with one player less in the game, the stress is a little, it, the stress is a little off. We won't be the first one to go down, but we obviously don't want to be the next to go down either. So we must stay strong, and we must continue to adventure through the caves. Lots and lots of steel around here, but there's a lot of lava and a lot of water, so we need to we need to block that up before the heat gets too much for us. I'm surprised this water hasn't evaporated, considering it must have been here for uh, years. Especially considering we are in hell, but we shall see. Lots and lots of treacherous ways downwards, but currently we must focus on getting the steel. Having a bit of protection on our armor is great, but we need we need a lot more if we want any chance of survival here. Ah, oh, that's just been turning us the best bit of we have been able to taste all game. Oh, it's been too long, it's been too long since I've last had some good. Lego was apparently having some technical issues with his uh, with his camp recorder uh, when the season began, and uh, with his camp crew. So uh, we actually had to start a little late for him, but uh, it's all good now. He's out of the way. He'll probably be fired by his uh, by his camp crew for or he'll probably by his camp crew at the very least to uh, for, for making us all wait. And uh, we couldn't agree more on this decision as uh, obviously we want everything in each game to go. As, as smoothly as possible. Obviously, obviously, most of all but one of us are going to die in the end, so uh, we'd rather get over and done with quickly. Oh, and even more steel, just as I'm trying, just as we're trying to dig out a passageway to cook even more steel. Oh, this is just great. Our luck is going up, up and up. We're going to show the, we're, we're going to show the producers that we are the ones that they should be, uh, that, 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 that they should be putting on live television. We, uh, we've got this covered. So now let's pick up our steel and let's see just what we can, uh, just what we can make. Let's make up another oven, have a good oven. Make up our, make up our iron, our steel, and I guess it's time to dig, to dig down again to try and find anything while that cooks up. We gotta try more steel. This is good. This is good. We'll be finding our, we'll, we'll be finding our diamonds to create our wizard's table in no time to get ours. To, to, to get our enchantments together. This is looking to be a good game for us so far. 
will be on live television in no time getting uh, getting everything good. But for now, that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. And next time, we will be, we'll be trying.